Okay, um, this is my um, Tidal and Newman uh, hand crank machine. Um, it's about 1904, 1907, something like that. And I'm going to show you how to use the bobbin winder on it. Um, I'll just unthread this. In the wheel on these, there is a little clip with a hole in. If you push the clip, it disengages the drive. And we want to do that first because you don't want your needle shooting up and down. So I'm going to take the thread and I'm going to pop it through the shepherd's crook at the top guide and down between the tension discs, holding it at the back, I'm just going to pull it down into the tension disc, make sure it's gone down into there. Then it needs to come down and round this um, big part of the bobbin winder and at the back there's a, a, a curved piece and it will the thread will run under that while we're um, going to be winding it on the bobbin for this machine it has two holes on the end you can't use one with one or none it has to have the two because in the right hand side the locator pins there are two locator pins in here so I'm going to pop my thread through the hole in the bobbin and I'm going to just pull it through a little bit and hold it and I'm going to then locate my bobbin into the spring loaded left side and then I need to pull that through a little bit more. I'm going to turn this end until those two locate pins find the two holes on the bobbin. There we go, it's just dropped in. Someone will tell me there's an easier way to do it, but actually that's how I do it. So I'm just going to take my thread and make sure it's not catching on anything. So it's in the right place back here and tighten it back up at the back so it's in the right place. I'm going to take this little thread here and I'm going to cut it short because I don't like mine winding back in. If you press here it will load the spring and this is the spring that when you get to the, uh, the bobbin is full will disengage the mechanism. I don't fill mine all the way because I don't like them in the shuttle. I think they're too tight. So I will fill my bobbins half to three quarters full and use them. It may mean that I have to fill them more often, but I think it sews better when it's not got a full bobbin. So I'm now going to um, push the unit forward. Again, there's probably a better way to do it. I haven't worked it out yet. Uh, and engage it onto the main wheel. Mine needs a little adjustment, which I haven't done. So I'm just going to hold it up on there while I just get my wheel going and get my wheel moving. There we go. So once it's going, I should be able to let go of it. And you can see it's winding the thread onto the bobbin nicely. And if it stops like mine, you just, it just needs a little bit, probably a little bit more oil. I don't use it often enough at the moment. Um, I've had a fire in my workroom, so um, it's not getting used as much as it should be. So there we go, it's going. So hopefully yours will go fine. I was going to show you it working then, but I'm going to pop this back down because it's not playing. So I'm just, I, unfortunately, I just I have to hold it. There we go. I don't stop, we're all right, and it winds beautifully. I don't stop. There you go, you can see it now. Actually winds very beautifully. Very evenly. It's stopped, so I'm going to stop now, and I'll disengage it. I probably would put a little bit more on than that, but this is just for demonstration. So to disengage it, um, you can either push down on this end, but I think you're supposed to push in on this side here and it disengages the mechanism. Um, to disengage this one, I just pull it down. 
then clip it from here snip thread off then I'm going to come back to this one at this end and unfortunately you see it had wound in but it's not very helpful when you're sewing so I'm going to snip it off oops I did as I there we go now I'll just show you how to put this in the bobbin I'm going to take a little bit undone into the shuttle sorry so this shuttle um, is very similar to a single one it may even be a single one mine's all been taken apart cleaned polished and uh, works beautiful on this machine so i'm going to drop it in with the pointed end first i'm going to place my finger on the top of the bobbin in the shuttle pull it down into place here across to the left up round through the tension and hold in the still click in it goes that's in place now it's just clipped through the finger there if i just pull this you can see it's all working and that's ready for loading so i hope this has been okay i'm not very good at doing videos getting better i think um oops there you go told you wasn't very good I'll take this out then you can see the whole of my machine it is rather beautiful I absolutely adore it it works every time I come to it with its temperamental bobbin I'll just show you the clip on here the little clip here if you can see there I'm just going to clip that back in and then if I turn the hand crank listen it will fall back into place there so it's now engaged the drive and it will now sew. Hope that's okay for you. Bye.